Hi everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. I'm in a really good mood today and that is because I finally get to bring you another Freightliner. It's been a while. As you all know, the market is insane on Freightliner M2106s and 112s. Fortunately, I'm very blessed with the quality of the vehicle I'm going to show you today. It's not just any Freightliner 106. There's a lot of quality there. And I wanted to mention, please stay tuned and keep watching us. And the reason is we've got two more used ones on the way. In addition to that, we're finally going to have a brand new one by the end of the month. So things are exciting, things are happening, we're going in the right direction. And I'm very pleased and fortunate to be working here. A lot of good things are yet to come. This is a 2015 Freightliner M2 106. This truck has just under 24,000 miles. The conversion is sports chassis. So we'll start and take a look in front of the truck today. And I realize a lot of people that are looking at this type of truck are kind of shopping and comparing us to pickups. So one thing I want to mention and go over today is the advantages in purchasing this type of a truck over a pickup. First and foremost is going to be safety and we'll take a look at an example of that right here. Take a look at the windshield, okay? That's 2,500 square inches of glass. So the visibility on this truck is outstanding. You can really see things coming at you from the front and the sides as well. In addition, I'm going to show you a couple of add-ons that he put on the truck to even make it safer as well. So there's a Freightliner logo. The grill is here. It extends on down into here. It comes with tow hooks located here and here. Now the bumper is broken down into three parts. And the logic of that is if we get into an accident, say we ding it up right here, we can simply replace that compared to replacing the entire bumper. Let's take a look underneath the hood. That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Now when we're looking underneath the hood, some things to keep in mind. See how it's kind of color coordinated under here? You see things in red, yellow as well. Well, we're, where we see yellow are things you and I can check. For example, the oil is right there. This truck is actually in the process of going through our shop where we, they go through it thoroughly and any oil leaks, things of that nature, obviously will be rectified before you take possession of the vehicle. This is stock number 5U21. One, two, seven, one. I did mention some safety add-ons that the gentleman before put on there. Right here is one. That is a camera right there. There's one on the opposite side as well. So when you're in your travels, you can see what's going on beside you. We did put brand new tires on it. Those are the Goodyear Marathons, 255, 70, R22.5. As we take a look at the inside. Now in 2015, Sports Chassis tried to use the push button start. They didn't have the best luck in the world with that. So this is actually bypassed. This doesn't work. So to start the truck, the key is located there. 
and you're going to want to turn the key on about halfway and let those everything reset itself and then start the truck some things we can see from here this little pedal is where we'd adjust the steering wheel here's the trailer brake in addition to that this button here is for heated and vented seats this is up and down in the seat this is for the lumbar in addition to the sides of the seat you can put more air in it as well it is set to auto so as you can see the seat kind of raised itself so when you get in it'll raise and when you're done with your travels it'll lower to let you out and this button here is the back cycler also known as back massage as you're in your travels It comes with two fuel tanks, one on each side. They both hold 50 gallon. One thing I like about this truck is the color of the interior. You know, it's hard to find trucks anymore that don't have black. Well, we have that very tan interior that's obviously gonna keep things cooler in the summertime. The truck comes with a deflector to put on the windshield. Now this seat does make down into a bed and the button for that is actually located right up here. Underneath here is our DEF tank that holds up to six gallons of DEF. Data is showing about 325 miles per one gallon of DEF. Underneath here is the battery conditioner. Basically, if we're in our travels in the night and we run around the DVD player or have the lights on, things of that nature, you can find a 110 outlet and simply plug that in. That assists the batteries. Now, as we start to look at the bed of the truck, there's storage underneath, right here, and under here is an air outlet. There is additional storage located here. You can pop that up, put items here. Not only can you shut it, but you can lock it as well. Plus, a huge storage bin located here runs all the way across the truck. Also in here is a cover plate for right here. So if we don't have a trailer hooked on and we're traveling and we wanna carry some things, we can cover that up and that's lockable as well. As we walk on through, you can see it comes with a gooseneck ball. I realize that the safety chains aren't hooked up. The trailer is for video purposes only. But we hook the lights up right back here. In addition, it comes with the bumper pull tow package located here. There are, this is a hookup for if you wanted to put even more cameras to it, it uses the Voyager system. So that is where we would hook additional cameras up. Now as we take kind of a three quarter shot from right here, you can tell that even though this truck is a 2015, it's had a great life from the standpoint there aren't any scratches, there's no dings in it. It's a very high quality product that we're bringing to you today. In this storage component, we have the fire extinguisher, some flares, just kind of some safety things that we've he's stored away right there. Furthermore, along the sides, we already have the private carrier, not for hire on there. So that's the case. Hopefully um, DOT will kind of leave us alone because that's what really these are designed to, to, to do. With a given scenario where we have the toy hauler, things of that nature, they're more designed for recreational use than anything. As we take a look from down here, we can get a shot of the DVD player. Furthermore, there's hookups down low for charging your phone. 
Now let's crawl on in and take a look at the inside. Okay, so as we take a closer look, we'll start at the top and work our, our way down. A little storage component located right here. Right next to that is the air yeah. horn located right there. These switches here are for the fan. So if I wanted to blow cold air to the back, simply press that to blue and that'll do that. This is the fan for that as well. Now it comes with automatic transmission. I realize this is a larger vehicle, which is a safety advantage in itself. So if we are in an accident, the chances of walking away in this are substantially higher. But it is automatic, reverse, neutral, and drive. These are for the windows. The remote for the DVD player. This is for the mirror heaters located there. This is the engine brake. So yet another safety advantage. If we set that to high, we're coming down the Rocky Mountains right next door and we're on a sharp decline. We actually have over 300 horses coming back at us. So if you have a rather large trailer like we have now hooked up to it, that's going to slow it down, which is not only safer, safer for you and your passengers, but everyone else as well. The regen button located right here. Lane departure, lane assist located right there. This is the switch for the backup camera. Now this switch here dumps all the air out of the back. An example of when you would use that is when you go to hook up the trailer, you can let all the air out of it back underneath to where you need to be and put the air back and that'll make life easier for hooking up your trailer as well. There's an additional switch here if we wanted to put another camera, a radar detector, hook something else up, we can use that option button located there. Climate control is right here. It has additional storage located there. It comes with the original manual right here as well, in addition to having storage located there. So an extremely nice used Freightliner that we have on the market today. If you have a Freightliner or a pickup you're trying to sell, give us a call. We not only uh, sell trucks, we purchase them as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.